As mentioned before, ground failures include surface fault rupture and damage due to liquefaction and landslides. The 1995 document noted that traffic is going to have a very difficult time moving after the Hayward Fault quake. The location of highways, roadway, and public transit on soft soil sites at the Bay margin will be a large part of the pro problem. The Bay Area Rapid Transit, BART, Oakland Airport, and numerous Caltrans bridges and freeway overpasses were cited as having the potential for serious earthquake damage leading to disruption. Since 1971, the Bay Area Rapid Transit, or BART, system has grown to 360,000 daily riders. The system provided a critical backup for the damaged Bay Bridge following the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. In November 2004, Bay Area voters passed Measure AA, which authorized the BART district to issue bonds for $980 million to fund earthquake safety improvements to BART facilities. The BART seismic improvement program includes relocation of BART headquarters, which has been completed, retrofit of 22 miles of elevated tracks, and retrofit of 19 stations. Five station retrofit projects are in construction. Extensive evaluation of the Transbay tube and reclassification of the retrofit from a top priority to a low priority in the system wide program. And finally, after careful study, BART determined that there is no practical retrofit for the Berkeley Hills Tunnel and has instead developed an emergency response program. At the Oakland Airport, Terminal 1 is undergoing a $200 million upgrade and Terminal 2 was upgraded. In 2000, the Port of Oakland Maritime authorized an $11 million wharf and embankment strengthening program.